So one of the questions I get asked all the time in regard to uh, perch fishing on these reservoirs is, where do, we, where do we go? What do we look for? Um, so here's a few top tips. First of all, just use your eyes. Perch are absolute addicts for structure. They love structure. That can be natural stuff like weed beds, or it can be towers, walls, um, yeah, bridges if you're on a river, locks if you're on a canal, all of that sort of stuff. They absolutely, they're addicted to it. Um, there's also quite a few underwater features that you can't see from the surface and, and really you're gonna need to try and get yourself a fish finder. So um, I've got a Hummingbird Helix 12 here, um, quite an expensive unit. Maybe you don't need a, a you know, really expensive unit like this, but getting something that can give you depth and certainly see what's underneath the boat is really critical. Um, what are you looking for? Well, if you've got side scan, you'll be able to see things like old riverbeds. Uh, you'll be able to see uh, very steep drop-offs. Uh, but if you've got just a regular kind of fish finder, which is a, a 2D, which is the old traditional ones under the boat, you're really looking for um, what we call Christmas trees, stacks of arches, which indicate the fish. And they're often in a triangular shape. And that, that's a classic for a perch shoal. Um, whenever I see one of those, it's almost 99% certain it's gonna be a perch shoal rather than uh, a bream or zan or roach or anything else like that. So keep your eyes peeled um, for the features. Definitely keep your eyes peeled if you've got a fish finder for those underwater arches. Uh, and also pay attention to what depth they're in. If you tend to find a shoal and they're in, say they're in 15 to 18 foot of water, you catch a few and then, and then that area dries up. Often try and replicate a similar type of thing, uh, a similar type of depth or another bay. Whatever you've been catching in, perch can often repeat themselves on a day. So keep your eyes peeled for, for where you're starting to catch and then repeat that through the day and, and chances are you're gonna find another shoal that's similar.